Hey beauties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty. Um, so I just wanted to film a quick video about uh, uh, clip-in extensions. And sometimes, you know, I've heard a lot of horror stories for clip-ins. Now, you might think, all, you know, clip-ins are the best extensions because they're not permanent, they don't cause damage, etc, etc. Actually, it's not true. They are actually one of the worst methods of extensions if you're going to be wearing them every single day. Clip-ins are great for um, an event. Let's say you have, you know, a wedding to go to, or uh, you know, you just want to wear them every Friday night when you go out for dinner, go to clubs, whatever. Um, then I would say go for clip-ins because it's uh, they're not permanent. But if you're the type of person who wants to wear extensions every single day, I would research different methods uh, of more permanent extensions that would be less damaging. But the main uh, thing I get from clients, or complaint I would say, is, uh, is how come my clip-ins give me bald spots? So, well, um, a lot of times clip-ins can give you bald spots if you wear them every day, like I was saying. Um, you're clipping them in the exact same position, like in the same place, which makes sense because why would you place them anywhere else, especially if they've been cut into your haircut, you have to put them in the same place. But again, like I said, if you're wearing them every single day, where the clips actually are may cause some breakage and maybe not necessarily a bald spot but you definitely would notice uh, some really short hairs and breakage in those same spots for a lot of use like if you're wearing them a lot and the reason is because you know they're heavy like uh, those little teeth they're metal sometimes they're plastic but still they're teeth and they're grabbing on and pulling 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 all the time on the same hair same like spot of hair so a lot of times you know you get the breakage and the best thing that I would suggest is try even if possible to shift them slightly every time you wear them like um, or maybe not wear as much or as heavy of the extensions so you know try to give your hair a break if you're gonna wear them every day or or you know possibly like I was saying maybe research some other methods uh, that would be less damaging for your hair but um, the biggest thing that would cause a bald spot, like a, a legit bald spot, like a hole, <laughs> is uh, if you sleep with them. Sleeping with clip-ins is like the worst thing you can do. Uh, definitely the biggest no-no because, again, think about it. Let's say, you know, and everybody's done it. I've, you know, I, I, I've done it. Uh, you go to bed because you've been out all, you know, all really late at night and you come home and the last thing you want to do is take out your extensions. Or, you know, you maybe you met a guy and, you know, you want to not take out your hair and, and be like, hey, so anyways, this is me. Uh, that, obviously, that happens all the time. But really, though, the worst thing you can do is sleep with them. Go to bed with your extensions in because when you're sleeping and you're rolling around, you're pulling and tugging and, uh, and girls have really bad horror stories with the bald spots because of sleeping with their clip-ins. So uh, yeah, definitely don't do that and um, that's probably why they're giving you bald spots. So the best remedy is to either wear them less often, um, to place them in different spots or maybe not put the entire full set in so that it's less heavy on your hair uh, or just to get a different type of extension like a, a, maybe a micro weft or, or even fusions if you don't mind going for the permanent permanent route. Um, but anyways, those are my suggestions for avoiding bald spots with clip-its. Uh, and if you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to comment below and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And I uh, will see you in another video. Bye!